Oh, you're not going to believe it, Mondo. What happened? Well, when you were away. Yeah? I saw a ghost. You didn't. I hope you didn't do it. Did you? I did, yeah. I know. <laughs> Tell me the but truth. Then I realised. You mm. can't handle the truth. It was only my own shadow that I seen. Yeah? And Leo helped mm. me. <laughs> Leo bought me a packet of snacks. I don't believe you. The when was it happening? What time did it happen at? 7 o'clock tonight? It happened in Leo's house. Yeah? And he kept, he cheered was me up. Christy there? But he said that we should go over. As Bella Doyle there? To Christy's house. <laughs> oh, you heard George cheating with them. Good luck to you. Now. Alright, hon. Now, I love you so much. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, Leo. Oh, nice one. I'm after doing all the hoovering and all. Everything is all clean and tidy. Here, look. You hold on to the hoover, here. We could get used to this. Sit down. Hang Make on. yourself a home in your own house there. Oh. Now, I have something to tell you. Mondo's after coming back. And... What? He wants to know. You can't stay here, there's no room. No, Leo. I think he's on to us. I think he's going to ask what me about... What are you doing that with you that night? You know, me and Christy were there like horny dogs. <laughs> you you know did. You tried to seduce me. He's not... Are you saying that we, you know? Yes. I don't believe you. We never done anything. It's okay, Leo. I won't let your little secret out. Now hang on for a minute. Are you trying to say that I'm like a doorboard or something? Yes, baby. I uh hear. -huh. Getting clean that floor, are you, yeah? It's not that I'm trying to say anything bad about you. You're a lovely man. It's just that I do think that you're a little bit horny <laughs> now and then. Well, aren't we all? Well, me more than most. That's yeah. why Mondo needs to Bella give me extra bad influence. Listen. Yeah. You see these yellow gloves? What are you doing? Ah, well, the way it is, Damien. Come here, I'll tell you, right? I was thinking maybe me and you can get together, have a game of football, you know what I mean? With the lads, Dolores like, has a bit of a noose around me neck lately. She doesn't seem to want to let me outside the door. She has you on a leash. Are you going to let her do this to you? Well, when you do it with Suzanne, didn't you? When she was beating Don't the go there. When she was beating the bollocks out of you. Hmm. Listen, Damo, I need to see about something, right? Yeah. I'm out of getting a phone call. Know who it was? You tell me, man. Who was it? Maeve. And Lucy. The two of them two together. Two of them? I don't believe it. Here, do you want to come down for a game of football? Me and Tim over there. We're going I there can't. tonight. I have to sort something out, buddy. Bit of Astro. You know what I mean? I can go front. Kick the ball in like Dave Beckham. Rupture the bollocks off. <laughs> if my memory serves me correct, Damo, the last time we had a game of ball, you were like Jack Charlton. What do you mean? You were like Steve Staunton. And you were like Eddie Irvine. Oh, me bollocks. <laughs> Come on, Damo, you know it's always me who wins in a game. But then again, you are an Aston Villa supporter, so you was lost years ago, you know? Don't get me there, you know it, it's the best. Man, you know it, it's the best. What's we're talking about, lads? Football. We're talking about Aston Villa. Come here. Tottenham Hotsburg. Huh? I'm a bit of a golf for myself. Man. Come on, lads, will you? Own up to the truth. What would you say? <laughs> Liverpool has a good chance at the league this year. I know, Damo, seriously. Come over. All right, yeah. yeah. What's going on in the town? Uh, we're just having a private conversation, Joe. Right. Is the only way at the bank there? Give me four hundred euro. No. Listen, Bob. Listen. Maybe me and you can get dirty. Mm, let me think about that. Come on, I'm boy. I do a great ride. I give you a free tonight and see what you think. Mm. What do you think? Try me once. Turn me out and see what you think of me. I'll let you down, I promise. Okay, Bob. You twisted Oi. my arm. Well, I'm getting excited here behind the counter. I have to stand here to hide you up. You know Seriously? Yourself? You got an erection? Well, I wouldn't call it an erection. Call it a direction. Oh, that is rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long I won't come up. 
Oh, you're a dirty man, Bob. Ah, come on over here, love. Face your demons. Live inside. Come on. Go on, love. Lay into our love. Lay into our lumps. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you with the golf club. You're so annoying. You started it, uh, like, you know? God's sake, like, it was my fella that you went off with, like... Fucking hell, like, I don't believe it, like... I never went with anyone's boyfriend in my life. Like, it was only for two minutes, like, and she said you she liked him, about? and then you said you liked him, and then I, I didn't know, I wasn't gonna go out with him. He was a single fella. Nobody was going out with him when I touched him. Come on. Lay lumps into my love. You're a scaldy little bitch. You've no backbone. You... Well, I'm going out with him tonight. See how you like that? have him. He's a boat door. Slut. S-L-U-T. Yeah? Oh. See what you think of that? <laughs> because at the end of the day, that's all you want. Here am I Are you crying? Keep away from me, you are over there behind you. Are you afraid? No problem, Judy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here with Jane at the moment, so maybe I can have a talk with you about that later. That was Judy. What did he got to say about herself? Or on Bob are going down the country. Of course, nothing I can do about it. Well, you tell Jane when she comes back there's no work for her here. She has her own surgery. Jane, and what can be done Jane, about that? Jane. That's all you ever speak about is Jane. It's Judy. Oh well whoever you're speaking about. If I ever find out you're cheating on me, you would get your ball served on a plate for breakfast. Do you understand this, what I'm trying to say to you? Because I certainly don't. Now good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello! Judy. Hello, Judy, is that you? Where are you at the moment? I'm in the shop. Uh, no, sorry. I just forgot my purse. No, uh, no. Okay, who are you speaking to on the phone? Tell me now. Jane. It's my brother. That's all. What are you lying for? I'm not lying, I have to go into the toilet. Get back out here, right this Sorry instant. Jane, I won't be a moment. Back in a minute. Dog. Cheater. <sighs> Hi Judy. Hi Bob. What are you still doing over here in the community centre? We came over to see what was going on. Have you any jobs going on this summer? I'm afraid you'll have to see Charlie about that. She wants to go walking. Can I get up? And see that prick that she used to be with? He's an asshole. Well, how much of an arsehole as you are. Tommy, I don't appreciate that. Bob is a good man. I am a good man. Do you want to come in for a drink? No. You go ahead. Come here, you, you scanny wag. I want to talk to you. Do you know what I've been through in the last two years? Over you and your dirty husband, Bill. Listen, Jan. What? Yvonne has had to be in through enough. Yes, she knew. Well, she I'm sick need, of you, and She doesn't need you in her life, right? I'm trying to run a business I've here. been there for her. And you're to pull it down to the ground, which are larking. We might not have got on a good start, but now mm. we are good friends, okay? And nothing's going to come between us. Well, well, look, the way it is, you're not welcome down to the gym no more. Because the way things I don't want gone. to go to the gym. Right. That was a one-off. I crashed uh, out. Hmm. <laughs> That's the way it was going. So, Paul. I mean to say, like, she was in the schoolyard and the young one was intimidating her. No. No, no, listen, Orla. You're not listening to me, okay? This is our baby that we're having. It is. Now listen to me and listen to me good. Yeah. I mean, like... Whose knob had you got? Because it wasn't mine. <sighs> I lost count. I really do. I'm not sure who the father is. Oh, where were you that night? I don't know. I don't give me that, Orla. 
You have it's to. only between three people. Well, who were they? Name them. Christy. Bella. Charles. What? For fuck off. You didn't sleep with all them. The three in the one night. I mean, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're not listening to me. So you slept with them all. What about yeah. me? You were the last. Yeah. You were the last of me. The first and the last. And never again. Where did I come into this all? Into me hole. I gave up Maya for you, yeah? Yeah. I gave up Lucy. And look what you done to me. Do, 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 do. Please, understand that I had to have hope. I can't hold it. It's too tough. I can't just... I can't deal with this, what you've thrown on me. It's not my fault. I couldn't help myself. Who is it, Orla? <laughs> Whose baby are you having? Please, don't leave me. I need you. Every day when I wake up, <laughs> I could just picture a, ba baby. a little baby in a pram with Bella's face on it. Bella's coat. Wrapped around and keep her warm. The smell of the coat probably killed the child, mm. so maybe we should just leave the coat with a skip. <laughs> After oh, all them years, that coat was on him. Never and there, once oh, washed. I can't. You don't understand. <laughs> My ma will never forgive me. <laughs> oh, God, please. She already hates me for not paying back all that money.